Good day, mates. What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is James. I'm the Bearded Metal Chef, and today I'm going to be taking you on an adventure straight to the down under. That's right, a beard product review from Queensland, Australia. Stay tuned for the Bush Ranger Grooming Company. Coming up next. <laughs> Welcome back everybody. I hope you enjoyed my intro just as much as you enjoyed my authentic Australian accent. I know you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what you thought about it. So today we're going to be talking about the Bush Ranger Grooming Company out of Queensland, Australia, owned by an awesome husband and wife team, Michael and Nikki, right beside me right here. Lovely couple. I've gotten a chance to talk with Michael for quite a bit. Uh, build an awesome friendship. He's very innovative and creative in, in what he makes and his products. Always coming up with sense. Uh, always kind of updating his his website. So definitely give uh, the Bush Ranger Grooming Company a check out. So what I'm going to be talking about is the Bush Ranger name, their products, some prices, uh, a little bit about their website, and what to expect in the beginning of the year. Um, so me and Mr. Beertastic or I know him as Patrick, um, is an awesome guy. Definitely check out his channel. Check out his Instagram page. Another great reviewer. So please go and support. Show some love to him as well. So let's dive right in to the Bush Ranger Grooming Company. So as I mentioned, uh, or may not have mentioned, this is from Queensland, Australia. This is the furthest company I've ever gotten to try products from. They were established in 2016 um so the bush ranger name i want to get a little bit about that so the history of the bush rangers they were pretty much outlaws in uh aussie born from convict stock sent from england so convicts they're pretty much aussie born from convict stock sent from england so their story is about uprising against uh oppression and contradiction so really when you think about it it's it's they kind of stand up um, against all kinds of adversity standing up for what they believe in um, and pretty much just overcoming that adversity in life um, such as everybody in life um, we go we all go through a bunch of struggles we all go through a bunch of things in life that we that we try to overcome and end up hope and end up overcoming in life and uh, so we all kind of live like that bush ranger life. Um, I know we're not outlaws, but uh, in a sense, we all kind of go through uh, struggles and stuff in life. And uh, it's up to us to kind of get through those struggles and uh, just um, become uh, stronger for that and overcoming that, you know, the, the problems in life and, and adversity and stuff. So that's a little bit about the bush ranger name. Um, so, yeah. What I also want to show you is a, a cool little sticker that they sent me as well. So this is, you see the logo of the Bush Ranger Grooming Company and Bush Tucker for your beard. So Bush Tucker is literally uh, an Australian Aborigine saying, which is translate to beard, or I'm sorry, Bush food for your beard. So I thought that was a pretty cool fun fact um, that they put that on the sticker. And if, it, if you look at his logos and the stickers, it's got Michael's face. Uh, all over it. So uh, we're going to dive right into. So also a little fun fact is when you go on the website, you'll see all what the Bush Ranger Grooming Company is all about. Um, you'll see that every every time you make a sale, um, 5% of that sale goes to helping Australia, um, their zoo and wildlife hospital. So that's really cool. So every time, think about that. Every time, if you do decide to go make a purchase from their website, think about um, you helping um the wildlife hospital uh, over there. So, uh, so yeah, let's dive right into the scents. I have four oils, uh, two butters, well, beard whips, and uh, there's a beard jelly. So let's, I wanna get right into one of the unique ones that I thought, um, I didn't think I would like it, but I actually ended up 
getting used to it and kind of kind of uh, getting getting used to that scent. So this is their dark brew. This is literally their coffee scent. And you see that right there. What's also cool right there, you can kind of see that little thing right there is a moonstone gem. So when you shake it, you kind of hear that rattle inside there. So what a moonstone is, it's a, just a little tiny gem. It's actually meant to symbolize new beginnings, um, intuition, balance, um, wishes, um, inner growth and strength. Um, so yeah, it just it, it promotes just new beginnings. So I thought that was really cool. Actually, actually supposed to be good luck. Um, he actually actually adds that um, in there for the viscosity. It's a little bit medium um, to heavy, uh, thick oils. And I'll show that later on in a viscosity test. Um, so right now we're gonna be talking about the dark brew. So right off the bat, you get that that nice coffee scent. It's 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 bold. It's it's like a fresh brewed pot of coffee, and it's it's like straight black, bam, cup of coffee. So what uh, what Michael labeled this as, and we kind of described it as kind of like a bush brew. So uh, it's like out of the open, brewed over hot coals, like that just straight bush brew. And what it also has in here, um, it has a Western Australian sandalwood, which is definitely, it's known as wood and gold, essentially. Um, it was actually really a, one of the oldest export industries in the, in the world. Um, it was like in 1844, like China used a lot of the, the Western Australian uh, sandalwood for like incense and stuff like that. So, uh, so, um, I was gonna say, I'm sorry. So, so due to oh, the aromatic oils, it was known as one of the top exports in 1844, um, which is one of the best in the world. So, but so when in beard, a lot of that sandalwood comes out. So, uh, so in, like right off the bat, you get that coffee smell, but then later on as it breaks down, you get the sandalwood, and that's pretty much what you smell. Um, it's definitely unique. It took me a, a few tries to get used to. I haven't really used a lot of it. It's right there. It's, it's the lesser used oils, but it's still good. If you like that wood smell, um, definitely pick the dark brew. Um, you won't just be disappointed in that, and you get... Hopefully you get like a nice little, you know, uh, conversation piece with that little Moonstone gem. I thought that was a really cool take um, on that. So yeah, interesting fact on that. Now we're going to go into the, sorry, the Mistletoe Kiss right here. So this one uh, I used eh, a little bit, almost, I want to say almost half, but like it's a quarter way through. So this one is a, it's just a nice, I want to say a minty, like, can't really tell with a lot of stuff that he puts in his, in his ingredients or what essential oils that he uses. Um, it kind of keeps you guessing on what it is. It's definitely a mint smell. Um, not so spearminty, but maybe like a peppermint. And he's got some other stuff in there too. I can't really pick that up. But this is definitely a, a nighttime. Uh, I would definitely wear this during the night. Great smell, and they see the color. And it's just like a, you know, like a yellowish hue to it. You kind of see that. Also a great scent. I love this scent. Um, let's see. This is Sink the Pink. This is definitely one of the most ones I've used. Um, it's about almost half. This one is straight. When he got this uh, scent, he uses nine essential oils just in this bottle alone. And so he wanted to get the smell and just get all the smells of and make it pink. That's what he labeled. It. That's what he kind of described it as. So you get like that pink grapefruit. But you can tell there's more in there. It kind of that's that's one thing he wants to make in his oils is it kind of keeps you guessing. There's no like a bunch of scent profiles on there. It kind of just makes you keep guessing, and that's what's really unique about uh, his products is. You, you just it's a mystery <laughs> so uh you have to kind of just have to use your imagination of what you're smelling 
really unique smell. So this one right here is a scented or unscented, and this is the Jesse Hickman line. And as you see right here, get it? Kind of hear that rattle in there as well. It also has a. Let's see if I can get it. A nice little moonstone in there. Kind of get that in there. So yeah, like I said, it, it's a uh, supposed to symbolize good luck, uh, new beginnings, uh, good intuition, uh, inner growth and strength. Um, I thought I just think it's really cool that he adds those in there. So if you get one in there, definitely, uh, it's definitely a conversation piece. Uh, so yeah, you're lucky to get it. <laughs> so now we're gonna get into the butters and the balms, which well, it's beer jelly, but let me get into the let me do the the uh, carrier oil blends and the oils first. So he's got some pretty quality oils in here. Nice blend: uh, apricot, hazelnut, hemp seed oil, jojoba, moringa, rosehip, and lanolin. And that's pretty much the uh, the three oils. The unscented oil is a little bit different. Um, it's got apricot kernel, hemp seed, prickly pear seed, and rose hip. Um, you get maybe a little bit of the carrier oils in uh, in the unscented, not as much. So, but all of these oils definitely, I, I feel a big difference. Maybe like ten minutes into my beer. It soaks up really nice and just creates a nice softness in there. So what I want to do right now is actually I'm going to do a viscosity test. I'm actually going to put it right here. So as you see, I'm going to take a piece of glass. I wrote the names of each oil on there. I'm going to take a couple of drops of each one. And I'm going to slightly put it at an angle so you can kind of see where the uh, like how thick the viscosity is. So what I get out of it is like a medium to thick viscosity. Um, so you can see in the in the video, it kind of runs down really slow. I have it at a little bit of an angle. So, but really nice thick oils. They absorb very nicely. They don't leave your hands greasy at all. Um, so yeah, quality oils uh, indeed. And you, you'll, you'll see that if you do order from this company, which I do highly recommend. Um, so yeah, let's get into the butters and the beard jelly. So this is the beard whip, and this is called the squeeze me, which first take I got from it is like fresh squeezed lemon, like lemonade almost. That's what I get from it. It's that nice zesty lemon that you get. You see the consistency in that kind of got like a little bit of a ring around there, but I want to get like just is this so nice i mean i'll do even this right here so it takes a minute not even a minute i mean it takes a little bit it's a double whipped oh my god that's probably one of my favorite ones is that squeeze me so if you get a chance to get it mm, that is good so it's a double whipped it still has a little bit of weight to it. So when you feel it, it does feel like a solid. It's got like that, uh, um, it's got that body to it. It doesn't feel like a whipped butter. It just feel, feels like a regular heavy body, not heavy body, but a body butter. Um, you don't get that whipped feeling out of it, but it is, it's super nice. So this one is the Mint Night X. This is a pretty minty, Mm, good nighttime butter. So this right here, same kind of consistency. Comes off really nice. And melts really good in the hand. Mm, even that mint mixed with uh, the squeeze me is, is super good. I'll even kind of mix those at night. And they're all pretty good night scents. So this one... Like I said, it's, it's like a peppermint. You get a good peppermint out of it. Very relaxing. I, th I think it's very relaxing. Uh, I've worn it at night quite a, quite a bit of time. You see most of it's the majority of it's gone. Out of both of these, like I said, there, a lot of them are pretty much used halfway. So this one is a beard jelly. This is Sink the Pink. 
So sink to pink is the same as the oil, same scent. It's like that pink grapefruit, but also just so much left to the imagination to try and guess what else is in there. Just so super nice. So this, um, I'll go with the ingredients in the the whips, and then with the uh, the beard jelly. So the whips have a shea butter, mango butter, apricot, hazelnut, jojoba, hemp seed, lanolin, rose hip, moringa, and pure essential oils. This is a two ounce butter, or two ounces on all these. So as you can see, they have super quality ingredients inside them. Um, they don't disappoint. They leave your beard super soft. I, I get instant results right away. Um, so um, very, very nice. So this is the beard of jelly. This has shea, mango, apricot, hazelnut, jojoba, hemp, rosehip, moringa, and beeswax. So it's got the be beeswax in it. That's why I call it a balm. But it's not not too heavy of a balm. It's still kind of light. So it comes out very nice. So still takes a little bit. Not too much. Gone. Mm. So good. So with these whips and the beard jelly, I also got a uh, beard wash and condition bar. I'm going to show you the bar. Not a shame. There's no hair on it or nothing like that. It lathers pretty good. So I use this bar right here. So um, the scent of this is a lemon, eucalyptus, patchouli. Uh, it's got olive, coconut, sunflower, rice bran, avocado, castor oils, shea butter. Pure essential oils, um, super nice. Um, it doesn't leave your beard super stripped. You get that little bit of a strip feel, but afterwards, after you dry off, you do get that nice condition out of it, and then followed by these awesome oils that have these awesome ingredients inside them. Super nice. Um, definitely one of the one of the one of the companies that is on my list um, to try, especially for being in Australia. Um, I look forward to trying more products from them. I do want to order something something else from them, another scent. Super excited to try more of what they got. So right now, I'm going to go over um, their website. When you go on their website, you're going to be a little bit taken off by the prices. Um, they have a converter on there. I didn't I didn't know about the prices at first. Um, I wasn't even thinking about that. So when I saw the prices, I was, I was kind of taken back by it because all the prices aren't converted from Australia uh, currency to the U.S. currency. So what I did was I kind of broke down everything that they had and I got the prices down. So the oils you're going to find on there from $16 to $22 uh, for the one ounce oils. The beard jelly is 20 bucks. Uh, the beard balm, uh, they have a beard balm on there. I don't have it here, but they have a beard balm for 16 and the beard whips are also 20 bucks. So they also have the beard bars and body bars for $10 each. Um, and they also sell diffuser oils. They're half ounces. So um, you can use them for like massage oils, diffuser oils, or you know, oil burners, whatever you want. They they all make they make their own, you know, oils over there for diffusers and stuff like that. So those are half ounce for $15. They also have a combo that you can get. And he changes them every week. Right now, he's got on there a squeeze three and free um, for $59. What you get is a um, beard butter, a beard oil, and a shirt that's all handmade. Um, they hand make all their shirts, which I think is really cool. And you get that for $59. And you also get free shipping, which you cannot beat. Shipping is like $16 internationally from Australia to here. So, I mean, really, you're getting a great deal. You're getting each each thing for $21. Um, so you can't beat it. He'll change it every week. Right now, it's the Squeeze 3 and Free. Definitely jump on the Squeeze squeeze Me. Very nice citrusy scent. If you like citrusy scents, definitely jump on this. It, you, you're going you're gonna to enjoy the hell out of it. Um, so, so, from that... Um, Oh, I didn't even get into like what who Jesse Hickman was. Jesse Hickman on this oil, um, the Jesse Hickman line was actually uh, one of the first Lady Bush Rangers 
Um, born in the 1890s, she was the first lady bush ranger in the 1920s. So I thought that was pretty cool that they, they keep that bush ranger. But they also have like a little bit of a ladies line. Um, and that's the Jesse Hickman collection. So definitely check that out as well for, you know, your significant other or your wife. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what I have right now. Um, yeah, I think that's all I got. Uh, I want to say thank you to Michael and Nikki for putting this awesome stuff together for me. Um, truly enjoyed trying everything and I will continue to enjoy trying everything that is sent to me. Um, thank you guys so much. God bless. God bless you guys. I hope, I hope all is going well. I hope all is positive. Um, I hope everybody stays positive, spreads, spreads that beard positivity, just spreads that love, spreading that love and positivity to anybody that you know that might need it. Um, so yeah, as, as always guys, stay bearded, stay positive, and I'll catch you on the next video. Uh, for now, check out the Bush Ranger Grooming Company. You won't be disappointed. I tell you, oh, and one thing I have to tell you too is at the beginning of the year, we're going to be doing a live stream giveaway where Michael will be joining us on the live stream. So you can ask him whatever questions that you may have um, that I might not have covered on this uh, video right here. So please definitely be on the lookout for that. It'll be the beginning of the year. We'll have a giveaway. Each, each one of us, me and Patrick, Mr. Beertastic, are going to be uh, having a couple of giveaways for each of us. Um, the only thing I think you might have to do is pay for shipping, which is definitely worth it. If you're going to get these products from this company, if paying $16 is nothing to, to the quality of ingredients, the quality of products that you're going to get. So definitely be on the lookout for that, that, uh, that post. And for now, uh, guys, I am out. I will talk to you later. I hope everybody has a happy new year. Stay safe. Stay bearded, stay positive. Much love and respect to every one of you guys for taking the time and watching my video. And I'll catch you on the next one. For right now, I'm out. Rock on.